Are you considering moving to and wondering what it would be like to live in Ruskin, Florida? Maybe the cost of living, the neighborhoods, or even the feel and lifestyle of the community. In this video, I'm going to break it all down. I'm Kirsten O'Donnell with Florida Wholesale Mortgage and welcome to another video. Ruskin, Florida is located directly off I-75, right in between Tampa and Sarasota. One of the reasons people enjoy living here is because of its close proximity to the major cities while living a lifestyle free of the hustle and bustle. It's truly the best of both worlds. You'll get to enjoy the cost of living and the feels of being in a rural town with easy city access. Ruskin is about 30 minutes south of Tampa and approximately 40 minutes north of Sarasota which makes for easy access to airports, malls, and the amusement parks. Let's get into the lifestyle and who the area tends to attract. Ruskin is known for its state parks and the quiet local beaches. Many of the residents here were drawn to the quiet rural lifestyle. While living just minutes from the water, residents here can cast their fishing poles, walk the nature trails, enjoy the wildlife, or even watch the manatees and dolphins swimming in the warm waters of the Tampa Bay. Ruskin does not offer many chain restaurants or retail stores. You'll tend to find more mom and pop small businesses which gives the city its friendly, tight-knit community feel. Did you know that Amazon opened its doors to the 1.1 million square foot fulfillment center here in Ruskin in September of 2014? This location alone offered more than 2,500 jobs in the area in the first year and a half of being opened. One place I definitely recommend checking out while in Ruskin is its drive-up movie theater. This movie theater has been operating since 1952. Here you can enjoy two movies for the cost of one. They even have a snack bar. How cool is that? One of the most popular areas in town is the Little Harbor. Located about one mile off of Highway 41, sitting right on the waters of the Tampa Bay. Here at Little Harbor, you can find a marina, resorts, private beaches, restaurants, beach bars, fishing charter tours, and all of the water activities you could want. Little Harbor is a great attraction for anyone touring the area, as well as the current residents living here. It's a full day of fun. When you check it out, make sure to stop by the Sunset Bar and Grill and try my personal favorites, the fresh calamari tossed with banana peppers and the blackened mahi-mahi wrap. You won't be disappointed. Now for the shopping. Ruskin is a small coastal town, which makes for great local shops and markets. You will not find many of the big name stores. You will find many family owned small businesses, which I think gives it its small city charm. If you are looking for the big name stores, you can take the short 25 minute commute to the Bradenton outlets or even the Brandon Mall. Now let's talk about the cost of housing. The prices of home vary. If you would like further detailed information, I am happy to provide so upon request. But for now, let's get into some general pointers. Most residents in Ruskin do own a home. The average three to four bedroom single family home will run you about 370,000 on average which is a steal given that most of the homes you'll find here are fairly new construction. You can even find a spacious, brand new construction home in the low 400,000s. These neighborhoods typically consist of low HOAs and hardly require flood insurance. If you know Tampa Bay, you know there are not many areas offering homes in this price range. You'll also find many 55 plus communities for those who want to retire in this quiet coastal town. Now, if you were looking to rent, on the lower end, you'll find rent about $1,800 a month, ranging to $2,500 a month on the higher end. While you can easily find million dollar homes sitting on the bay with the highly desired easy access to the Gulf, Ruskin is one of the few Florida towns where you can also find waterfront properties for under $1 million. A good rule of thumb when it comes to pricing is the closer that you are to the water and if you want a private boat lift, the more expensive it will be. I hope this video gave you some insight on everything you need to know when considering to live in Ruskin, Florida. For more information on the neighborhoods and communities themselves, go check out my neighborhood tours with more to come. And don't forget to subscribe to get notified of all the new neighborhood tours coming your way.